Hello everyone, and welcome back to Answer Those Questions, the talk show where you must answer those questions. Let's get right into it. This is our one-of-a-kind quarantine special, where, instead of hosting guests in-house, we'll be hosting guests... in their houses. This is talking stuff, but today, our guests will be competing for their chance to win a brand new phone! This elegant iPhone 6 comes in the fine color space gray, holds 32 gigabytes, and is in pristine condition. Ah! We have burned now. The questions for today's episode are: How many times have you left your house recently? What productive things have you done? How much school should you do per day? What is your stance on bookshelves? What color is your toothbrush? Pepsi or Coke? Single or taken? What's the meaning of life? If you are sleeping and someone were to break in through your window, what are the chances of you waking up? Let's say there's a loud noise downstairs, and everything in your room is now your arsenal. Which weapon would you choose? What is your credit card information? And do I look good today? I'm just curious. I would now like to take a moment of silence to remember a great loss. The Arden Fund. Before spring break and all this quarantine jazz, the Arden Fund was thriving, but come time of lock or cleanup, it was nowhere to be found. 65-ish dollars were lost that day, and I've been hurting financially ever since. To the Arden Fund. To, to the Arden Fund. Who's there? And with all that, a quick reminder of our philosophy. No free will. No free speech. Just give us money. And with the mood we established, let's get into it. When I sent out the invitation for this video on my Instagram, 13 people wanted to be a part of it. And after weeks and weeks of waiting for their clips, one by one, they just didn't. We have six people to interview today, so let's hope to God this is interesting. We're going to start things off today with my friend, Amy Chen. What brings you here today? I'm Amy. I just said that. To be honest, I'm just here to say hi to your mom. Hi. Hi. I need more chocolate. Great. To the questions. Zero. Like, stay in your houses, people. Period. Period. Just, just stop talking. I chucked cake at my friend down my window. Yeah, <laughs> payback's a bitch. Like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? This video is longer than that. I hope. Bookshelf? Oh, you mean the doghouse? What the hell? Either you don't know what a bookshelf is, or you're the worst pet owner ever. Mint blue. Calm down, buddy. It's just a toothbrush. Sprite. Get the f*** off my show! Single like a potato. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that potatoes come in a big sack full of them. That came out wrong. Uh, it's a big bunch of potatoes, damn it. Basically, your analogy is broken! To die. Whoa, that's dark. Like my sense of humor. And our shed. Don't worry, the children are fine. Nothing? Eh, you win some, you lose some. Zero, cause like, I'll be killed by the glass. That's pathetic. My snuggler. It's sad that that's the smartest thing you've said this far. Is this a scam? It might be. No sir, you look like a pineapple. <laughs> Great. Well, that was nothing short of a nightmare. Hopefully our next guest will be leagues better. Fuck. Hello, Rai. Let's get into it, shall we? A few days ago, I went to Vancouver. At least once. <coughs> I cleaned my room. That makes one of us. 
else. Well, if I measure it in time, I do like at least one hour every day, which is like really little, but it's, you know, I'm still dying. Still more than Miss Doghouse over here. Okay, bookshelves, bookshelves are great, but um, the far superior one, you can fit infinitely more things in it, is a closet. Didn't think of that. I have um, one electric one that's white and blue, and I have a standard one, which is like seafoam color looking. Pepsi, it's less carbonated, which sounds bad, but it's just like a smoother texture. And I like how much more, it's a bit sweeter than Coke, which is something that I like. So Pepsi is better. That is the only reason why he's my friend. Taken. I mean, look at me. Look at me. Oh, I'm so handsome. Now, I don't believe that there's an actual purpose to life because I'm an atheist, but I'm pretty sure what the best thing you can do with your life is to just use your time wisely, I guess. Don't waste it. Corner break. <laughs> Sometimes my own alarm clock doesn't wake me up, so I'm pretty sure that I'll get robbed. Good to know. I'll see you Tuesday. I have a sword in my room. Siri, cancel all plans for Tuesday! No, which one? I have a lot. They're not mine, I just have them. Oh, just the main one you use. Wait. Arden? Sure. Not yes, not no. Sure. Okay. Thank you for your time. And if your Game Boy goes missing, he was there and I swear. Up next we have Taylor Saint Laurent. Hi, I'm Taylor, and I'm here today because I have nothing else to do. Ahem. Hmm? What did you say? Oh. Well, not enough. Well, at the same time, way too many times. I mean, I'm trying to social distance here, limit the amount of time that I go outside, but PE online, am I right? I mean, seriously, I'm trying to fulfill my dreams of eating snacks on my couch while watching TV and looking at my phone at the same time. But here's Jim just trying to ruin my dreams. Damn it, Jim. Damn it, Jim. <sighs> Productive, you say? Well, I've planned out a 2020 vision board goals I want to achieve. Have. Are you kidding? No. Productive. The only productive thing I've done is the huge amount of schoolwork that I have to complete by the end of each week. Or every day. Or every hour, honestly, at this point. So if you think that's productive, then sure. But otherwise, there is no vision for 2020. Well, I think we should do eight hours of schoolwork a day, so it keeps us up to task. No, I don't think we should do any. These times are stressful enough. Right now, I should be on my couch, in my pajamas, eating ice cream. Where's my Ben and Jerry's? I am offended you asked me that question. It's a bookshelf. What is this, a survey? Are you a dental hygienist? <laughs> hey, I still don't know what color her toothbrush is. Bubble tea. What? You asked me Pepsi or Coke, I said bubble tea. Uh, pfft, don't hate the player, hate the game. I think you're onto something. Don't hate the player, hate the game. That's brilliant. What you're saying is, I'm not bad at these games. They're just bad games. Give me a second. is none other than Xavier. Hey, ah! I'm back. No sh where'd you come from? She skipped that question. Does 
anyone remember the name of this show? It's called Answer Those Questions. You gotta answer those questions! Why are you asking me these things? I mean, seriously, are you going to break in? I'm catching on to you. I mean, I know you love my cat and all, but this is a little far. Look, I lost a lot of money, okay? I'm financially struggling. God, now I know what it feels like to live in Vancouver. My cat, no doubt. If it's you, <laughs> it's game over. I think you filmed those the wrong way around. Yours. Yeah, I've been uh, meaning to talk to you about something. Uh, I've been using your card for a while. All those expenses you weren't sure about, that was me. We're good, right? I could still use your card. I was planning on going to the Gucci store tomorrow. I mean, don't cop out on me now. I'll have a credit card. What's your definition of good? Ouch. Moving swiftly on. Our next guest is none other than Xavier Korpecki. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great. Let's hop into the questions, shall we? Alright. You ready? Uh, yep. Cool. Negative 53. Does driving my sister crazy count as productive? Of course. And besides. The younger siblings are always the weakest of the bunch, so... Are there any teachers watching this? No, just next question. Just answer the question. The show is literally called Answer Those Questions! You gotta answer those questions! I swear, if you don't- Um, it, it's a love-hate relationship, really. It's hard to talk about. Totally get it, man. Blue. Short and sweet. I like that answer. Mine is too. <laughs> it's been through hell. I'll take chocolate milk. Classy. Nice. Why are you asking? To not die. Fair enough. Negative 13. There's not a chance of me waking up. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind. Alexa, remind me to break into Xavier's house. When should I remind you? Uh, two o'clock tomorrow. I don't have one before one, two, three, dash, grapefruit. Okay. You look like you just fell into a herd of angry dishwashers. Is it worth it? I want to know what that looks like? But I'd like to go back to the question you skipped earlier. Do you have an answer? <laughs> Trick question, there is none. What? That doesn't even make any sense. It's like a sand. Ah! Profanity! Get out! We can't have any of that bullshit on this show. This is a goddamn family-friendly show. Do you understand? After the break, meet Sean Endu and Caden Sparker in their Try Hard Entertainment debuts. Welcome back. Here we have our next guest, Caden Sparker. Hello there. <coughs> what? Great start. People leave their houses? Mm-hmm. Wait, there's a pandemic going on? Why wasn't I informed? Oh, I left my house. Hmm, let me see. Art. And reading. And... More art. And more reading. No, I said productive. This is anarchy down with the school system. The government doesn't speak for us. I mm -hmm. let it slide. Just let it slide. Oh, I love bookshelves. They're so beautiful. If I could live in one of those beautiful antique libraries, preferably with those lovely little ladder slides that glide across the surface of the bookshelves, oh, I would in a heartbeat. Uh, uh. Hmm, not sure how to explain it in words that humans would understand. It's sort of greenish, but with more dimensions. Bro, do you have one of those 2D toothbrushes? 
Neither. Root beer is clearly the only acceptable form of sugar water. Hi, yes, the door's that way. Sorry, boys. The Manic Pixie Dream Girl's off the market. 42. I mean, yeah. Hmm. Considering I've slept through a fire alarm and more than a few regular alarms, I'd call it a 50-50 chance. Ladies and gentlemen, her first normal answer. Mmm, this one's a hard one. Should I choose the spiked baseball bat under my bed? Or a vial from my collection of exquisite poisons? And we're back. Bold of you to assume that the alien has a credit card. I can't. I don't get it. Nothing makes sense. I don't want anything to do with any of this. Anymore! Yeah. And now. Oh god. Eh, you were cuter about a year ago. Really, things have only gone downhill for you, sweetie. Sean Endo. Why don't you introduce yourself, Sean, and tell us why you're here, Sean. Hello there, my name is Sean. Really? And, uh, uh, the reason why I wanted to be here is because after I saw the Lowrider 2.1 video, I felt a little bit jealous, you know? Uh, seeing all my friends, you know, getting together and working on something, uh, I, I wanted to be a part of, you know, something. So I'm really glad to be a part of this, Arden. Thank you. No problem, man. Now, Sean here is clearly a driver. I mean, just look at his setup. He's got everything right, except for one fatal flaw. He's filming a portrait. This IGTV using TikTok thought looking ass is filming in portrait. He is the bane of modern society. He is the definition of hashtag squad life. Yet he has the audacity to say he's glad to be here. I haven't. Shame. You know, I've got to be honest, helping you make this video has got to be the most productive thing I have done all month. Congratulations! You won a grand prize! Here's the thing with school. If your teacher asks you to join anything like a Microsoft Teams and Moto, a Discord, or Zoom chat, the simple solution is you just don't do it. Any emails they send to you, ignore them, throw them in the trash. If you continue to not respond to them, and they will think that you have died, and therefore, you won't have to do any work. Easy! And how's that working out for you? You know, let me take back that certificate, because that is the solution to at- Bookshelves have one purpose, and that, my friend, is to store my anime figurines. No, dumbass. They're for books. I just got this brand new toothbrush the other day. It is super state of the art. Let me tell you, it cost me one pretty penny. Here it is. Ah, look at its beauty. It cleans super well, just get rid of, gets rid of all the plaque. And to answer your question, my toothbrush is black. That's a great brand. And they make good toothpaste too. Huh, I've never heard of Pepsi before. But let me tell you, if you're going through a hard time, Coke is not the right answer. It's just not the best solution. Even something like pot or alcohol would be better and- Oh, you were talking about the colas, weren't you? Well, we got to the right answer in the end, didn't we? Are you interested? I'll have to get back to you on that. It's the thing that comes before death. I'm beginning to see a pattern here. You see, if it's late at night, I'm really tired, and I, don't, I can't make good decisions, you know? So what I do is I take this ball here, and I throw it across the room. 
and whichever cup it knocks over is the thing that I do. That's genius, but you didn't answer my question. I swear. For weapons, all I need is a pair of chopsticks. Let's say, for example, there is an intruder, and he has a gun. If he shoots me, I can just catch the bullets. He'll be so intimidated that he goes running away crying. But, but if I don't catch it, I, I'd be dead. Okay, Theron, just line it up. No, hi, hi, Theron. Oh my, just line it up. Okay, just, you know what? Come on. Just go, just go. You didn't answer the fucking question! <laughs> oh, Arden, you look scrumptious today. And that concludes our quarantine special of Answer Those Questions. And I don't know about you, but I sure am questioning my life choices right about now. Make sure you tune in next time for your chance to win an Nintendo. Oh. oh no! Looks like this episode flopped so hard we only have one more chance to redeem ourselves or else we're getting cancelled. And if this was us at our best, then. Okay. I swear! Yep, right now. Oh. Get out! It's not good, Sam. Well, poor f***.